In an earlier video, we talked about how Hadith is used to describe multiple round trips or motion in more than one direction in the present tense, when you're going on foot and not taking a vehicle. Он каждый день ходит в кафе. Мы часто ходим в кино. Их дочка уже ходит. We can use these same senses of ходить in the past as well. В России мы часто ходили в театр. Вчера мы ходили в театр. This last example shows that in the past, ходить can also mean a single round trip since even a single round trip does involve more than one direction. You went someplace and then you came back. Using Hadith makes it clear that the person has returned. But what if you want to express that someone has gone off someplace and has not returned? Где твой брат? Он пошел в магазин. Где мама? Она пошла в булочную. Где они и Валя? Они пошли домой. In these examples, the people have not returned, so we're going to use the past tense forms of пойти, a verb that's related to the unidirectional ET. Now, these past tense forms can't be predicted from the infinitive, so you want to be sure to memorize these. Он пошел. Она пошла. Оно пошло. Они пошли. If you haven't yet learned about verbal aspect, uh, don't worry about the details yet. But for now, just be sure to use one of the past tense forms of пойти to express that someone has gone someplace but not yet returned. Now, the difference here can be important. Let's compare ходить and пойти in the past. Где Оля? Она пошла домой. If we're asking where Olya is, she's probably gone off someplace and not yet come back, so it makes sense to use пойти here in our answer. Где вы были? Мы ходили на концерт. It makes sense to use ходить in this context because you're already back, otherwise I couldn't be asking you where you had gone. Summing up. In the past tense, ходить can express a single or multiple round trips. But to express that someone has gone off somewhere and not returned, use the past tense forms of пойти, пошел, пошла, пошло, or пошли. And keep in mind that these verbs are used when you're moving on foot or within a city. To describe motion in the past to another city or country, or when a vehicle is mentioned, use ездить and поехать, which we'll cover in another video.